Hey guys! So I think we can all agree that sleep is kind of like the greatest thing ever. But what about too much sleep? Sleeping in is sort of simultaneously the greatest thing you can ever do to yourself and the worst atrocity you can ever commit to yourself. I mean, you can plan entire weekends around the fact that you don't have to wake up early in the morning. If you know that you've got a few free days, you are free to do whatever you want late at night and you don't have to worry about getting up and doing stuff. I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow, party all night! And think about the surprise days when you get to sleep on like a snow day. Your parents tell you that you don't have to go to school and that you can go back upstairs to your bed and just go to sleep. How is that not awesome? I don't have to go to school today! You do it. You know you do it. We've all done it. Then there are the days when you do have something in the morning and you just sort of sleep in too late. Not that I would know anyone who's done that recently. I mean, who would do that? <laughs> it's me, by the way. If you couldn't tell, don't worry. I'm not judging you. It's just... I'm not helping. Okay. Yes, I slept in a little too late the other day and I was late for my job. I, I wasn't trying to, okay? I woke up about a half hour before I usually leave for work. I get up at around 8 in the morning and drive out to work. But I was up a half hour before I would have to leave and I was still tired. I had had a late night the other night. What do you mean we don't have enough ice cream for this banana split? No! What do you mean by that? It got weird. But I made the mistake of thinking that I had some free time on my hands I could use however I wanted. So I decided to roll over and try to get a few more little itty bits of rest before I had to leave for a day of work. I'm a nanny this summer. I take care of kids. What do you think? I need all the energy I can get to keep up with them. So I roll over in bed thinking I'll just shut my eyes and before you know it, I'm out like a light. Sam, how dare you? I know, I know. And the whole reason I woke up anyway is because I got a phone call from my boss telling me I was late and he was wondering where I was. And I was just kind of on panic mode almost immediately. What time is it? I gotta be at work right now. I went from sleep to panic in no time flat. It was zero to sixty. So I hop in my car and I bolt down the road and I get there as fast as I can. So I get there and I was kind of like this. Mr. L, I'm so sorry I'm late. I rolled over a little bit too early this morning and I thought I could get a little bit of extra sleep and rest, but it turned out I slept past when I was supposed to leave and now I'm here and I'm late and I'm rambling and my words don't make sense. I'm really sorry and please don't throw me in the blender. I thought this guy was going to annihilate me. I just thought right then and there, my job is over, my summer income is gone, I'm not saving up any money for college anymore, I guess. But instead it was something like this. Well, it's alright, Sammy, my boy. It's only natural, you're only human, we all slip up every once in a while. Thank you. Whew. I got real lucky, guys. I'm just glad that I had such an understanding employer, to be honest. And it's not the first time I've kind of hilariously woken up late. I remember this one time in my junior year of high school, I was going to a wrestling match, and we had to be on the bus at like 6 in the morning, something stupidly early. And I didn't listen. I slept in past that, and I got up around 6.10 in the morning. Luckily, I packed myself the night before, so I was able to grab it and run out the door. So I get to the parking lot, I'm over here, the bus is over here, and it pulls out and goes that way. No, come back! So you know, I'm running through the local park, I'm jumping over fences, I'm hop skipping and jumping as fast as I can, avoiding the dog, and I cut off the bus at this four-way intersection with a traffic light. It just happened to stop right there where I thought I could cut it off. I was so lucky that it did. Again, I'm the luckiest guy in the world somehow. I walked up to it, knocked on the door, said, Hi, bus driver lady. I'm with the team, I swear. The coach came out and looked at me. He's like, McCoy, what are you doing here? I missed the bus, coach, but I caught it. The team never let me live that one down. So, anyway, sleeping in. Fantastic if you had nothing to do the rest of the day. It can be a nice way to set yourself on an easy-going, lazy course for the rest of your day. Or it can be a mistake that sets your entire day on a downward spiral of disaster. Why do we do it? Because sleep is amazing. So guys, if you have any funny stories about sleeping in too late and missing things out, go ahead and write them down in the comments. I love it when you guys comment on my videos. It's so cool the fact that you guys are sharing with me. As always, I've been Sam McCoy. I hope you had fun, and I will see you later. Go to sleep when you are supposed to, so you can wake up when you have to.